Okay, I'm trying to strengthen the landing gear of the Banana Hobby P51 uh, 1600 millimeter. Um, the gear that they sent was simply weak. Uh, no way to really hold it into the wing uh, beyond your first landing because um, it's uh, largely relying on the foam to hold the gear erect and that, um, as I have seen on other um, foam RC aircraft, did not work. So we're putting some wood in the wing and uh, something that uh, is about this size. And then uh, replacing the stock gear with E-Flight size 20s. So we're going to have to do some incisions and also uh, try to utilize the hardware that we have the best we can to secure that piece of wood and make it a solid foundation for uh, the gear. This one's already in and working fine. Now we've got to go to work on the second one. First thing we want to do is clear the hole so you can get uh, proper alignment on these gear, the new gear, which are going to be a little bit longer than uh, a little bit longer than the previous gear, the stock gear. So the first thing I'm doing is um, uh, making sure I've got adequate uh, clearance uh, to start with and then from there I can start to do uh, some carving on the wing and uh, the insertion of the wood and mounting of the new uh, retracts. Re so first, just want to make sure that before I start trimming away any of the uh, surface area, that I've actually got the mounting correct by taking the right amount okay. So now we have uh, the gear alignment correct. We've got adequate space all the way around. Um, and uh, I've got the mount lined up correctly where I want it. And what we'll do here is you'll see the screws that normally go through the plate that goes to the top of the wing are sitting slightly towards the center of the plane versus where the screw holes will be to hold uh, the new gear in. So what we'll do is we'll, we will use that upper wing plate and the associated screws to actually hold the plywood in place that we're going to put across here. So I'll cut a uh, shape, or actually mark a shape here on the wing for the plywood. I'm going to go just the thickness of the plywood below uh, the current mounting surface um, and, and use exacto uh, blade underneath there uh, to cut uh, that entire piece out without hurting any of this top surface. So we're going to preserve the top surface because in the end, after we get all the lumber in, uh, we get uh, the gear screwed in and tightened, uh, we're going to use that foam, trim it down, but we're going to use that foam to go back over the surface and you get a nice finished look like that. So the only thing you're going to see is the, uh, the mounting bracket for the, the gear and you see a little bit of wood around it, but that's okay. We can uh, touch that up later on if we want to, but it provides a much more solid surface to uh, mount the gear to versus just using foam that's strapped in on pegs and then uh, tied to a plate on the top of the wing. Uh, so next step is to uh, mark the wing with the, uh, uh, the plywood we want to use and uh, start cutting the uh, some access for us to put the plywood in. Okay, next step is complete. I uh, removed this amount of foam see about the depth that I had to go to create some uh, some room for uh, the plywood that we're dropping in and I just for a rough fit have dropped that plywood in there and that fits just fine so next step is going to be in doing some surgery then on the plywood to uh, cut a slot here for the gear and then we'll, uh, we'll uh, put some screw holes to match uh, the parts that are going to be poking up through from the other side of the wing, those, uh, um, those posts that are coming from the plate that installs on the top of the wing, and then uh, that'll provide us uh, with a real strong anchor uh, with four, 
four uh, holes filled with screws holding in that top bracket and then we'll use some hot glue to set the uh, set the plywood in the wing and then uh, from there it's about uh, adjusting with additional pieces of plywood on top of this to make sure we have the proper alignment of the gear as we drop it in on top. Okay, the plywood is in. It's uh, cemented into place. The top plate is cemented uh, into the wing. The top of the wing. Now I did trim the legs a little bit to give us room for the plywood to fit between the screws and uh, uh, and the legs so we've got room there and then uh, now the next step is to countersink these holes a little bit so when we drop the screws back in we can put the gear on top and then use another layer of plywood like that to shim uh, the gear exactly where we want it and these pieces of plywood here I uh, will trim the bottom with a sander or a Dremel tool to get the exact um, pitch on the gear that I want and make sure that the gear is high enough that when the gear doors close they close solid and they're in alignment with the rest of the wing. So these I'll, uh, I'll do after I have these screws set in and countersunk. So lay on top, I'll epoxy that in the exact spot that I want it and then uh, I'll put the gear on and then uh, we'll trim the remaining foam so the exterior of the wing will look exactly as it did before like it does over there. Okay, we've got the big piece of plywood uh, cemented in place. It is uh, screwed onto uh, the four posts from the top plate coming through the wing. And now we've cut two additional pieces of plywood and shape them to get the uh, exact alignment we want for the gear and the wheel squarely inside the wheel well the door exactly where we want that door to be and now before we start drilling holes and sinking screws we'll mark uh, where to put those two additional pieces of plywood and, um, and uh, use some epoxy to cement them into place really tight um, from then, at that point, we'll start working on uh, trimming the foam that we cut out earlier so it fits right back on top of the assembly and hides the plywood from view. Okay, so now we have the gear fully mounted, we've got the plywood uh, fused together with epoxy and uh, everything is uh, straight to the fit into the wheel well and aligned properly. Uh, last step, of course, is to trim down the uh, uh, piece that we cut away from the foam earlier so we can get that plywood in there. Now, of course, I've backfilled this area underneath here, underneath the guns with foam and uh, some hot glue, so that's nice and solid and gives the nut extra tooth, I guess, into holding that uh, plywood where it needs to go in the event uh, that it uh, has stress upon landing. It was even solid up front. So the last piece was to shape the thickness and little cutaways here for the secondary pieces of the plywood to fit against. So this will drop in here with a real nice flush fit. Just put a little, little uh, hot glue on that, make it solid, hold it down while it dries, and that would be in good shape. Okay, so this is the one we just finished. Panels back in place, hot glued on top and solid. Matches the other side, and fully functional. Nice fit on the gear door. The wheel and the wheel well, lots of breathing room. They're ready to go. A 
lot more solid than what they were when uh, the airplane came out of the box. So we'll take it out and see how well it holds up to uh, all types of landings and all types of surfaces. A couple of tips when doing this, several times during the process of cutting the, the plywood, uh, putting in your plywood shims, drilling your holes, make sure that you plug in the gear uh, and run it up and down to make sure your measurements are correct and that you're not binding anything in the process. You will have to dig the wheel well out, or I guess I should say the the, the gear well here out underneath to allow some room on the top side of that motor. The motor actually does move within the casing um, when the gear goes up and down. If you don't have enough space there it will bind and you will not get proper action on your gear. The second thing is is that if you look here you will need to notch the landing gear so that when it retracts it doesn't bind on the top of the motor. If it does, the uh, electric retracts will lock and not function. So I've got to come back and paint that uh, to match the silver, but um, it is a uh, uh, necessity that you notch that and create some space uh, to keep it from binding. And that's it. I want to block this I got well, I started it way before you started flying though, on this timer. Okay, let's come over here. Looks like I do with the P47. Out here. Out here. Got you. Got both. Flat piece. Yeah. First flap. Second flap. Heck a little bit. Little bit. Did it, uh, does it twitch? The elevator uh, like No, it did not. Really? Really. Power back, not all the way, of course. Yeah, keep her in. Yeah. Perfect, look at that. Excellent. You like? Good job, mister.